Hello everyone. This is July the 12th, 2021. And I'm in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and it's 23 degrees out. Beautiful afternoon on this Monday, beginning of a new week. And I just started my video right there on the corner of Agricola and Young in the North End. And we're going to walk downtown today. And we're going to take a little bit different route than I usually take. We're going to go right straight through, down over the hill, and then down town. Downtown. There, that's what I'm trying to say. Downtown. Yep. Okay. Then we'll see what happens when we get down there. Depends on how long it takes me to walk it. If we do anything else when we get down there, or, or that will be my video. We'll see. So how are we all doing today? Everybody having a great day? It's been pretty good for me. I just sitting in the coffee shop with my headphones on there, listening to some old stuff. Take me way back to the to when I was just a young fella. So I spent the last hour in there doing that and charging my phone back up, my gimbal and all that stuff. And uh, I'm all primed and ready. I got a full battery here now again. I find since I like to put my headphones on and listen to stuff on YouTube music and things that I need to carry a spare battery so I can charge up my phone. It'll charge my phone up about three times. And so I never have to worry about finding a plug in the wall anywhere or any of these things because not every place got facilities where you can charge up your phone. So I just carry my battery and I can charge everything up as I need it. My headphones are great. They'll go, <coughs> they'll probably go two or three days without being charged. I've never put it to the test, but I just charge it out when I get home. Every time I come home, I plug everything back in and that's good for the next time. But they will hold uh, power quite a while. The same as the gimbal. The gimbal will go a couple of days. I guess you use it a lot in one day, but it, it handles it pretty good. The phone is the, the one that wants to go down quick. And it could be due to my phone. I've had it for a while now. But anyways, we're going to go right through the intersection. I'm still on... No, I'm not on Young Street now. I'm on K. I think that's what it is. K, K Street. It changes. Just back there, it's, it's uh, Young Street. Now up here is K Street. And I don't know what this one is called here. If it's K as well, we'll see. We'll learn something here today. Because I never went that way. This is the first time I took that route. Okay, I got the right away, I got the crosswalk, no lights, so. Okay, this is also called K Street, K-A-Y-E, K Street. We're going right down over the hill, we're gonna take a different route downtown today. It's always nice shake it up a little bit, and you know, I don't wanna show you guys the same stuff all the time. This place here is called St. Joseph Square. I don't know what they got in there. They got rentals. I don't know what else. The sign didn't say. Aren't these cute? The yellow doors. Love it. Well, there's a schoolhouse. 
I guess it's an elementary school since I see the play stuff in the playground here. Let's see. It's a French school. You call the call Saint Joseph, uh, Joseph Alexander. Okay, school. So there you go. Joseph Alexander. Okay. Thank you for over 100 years of learning. We'll be back in 2023. Okay. I guess they gave it lots of time since uh, the COVID. They closed down till 2023, and they will do some. Uh, they'll do some renovation, maybe, or some painting, or something, while the kids are out of school, probably. So, anyways, that's a school I never knew was there. An elementary school, French school. I think it's the French school. It said Ecole Joseph. Yeah, French school. All right, and there's a big United Memorial Church on that corner right there. Looks like it's been well maintained. The grass has got good. The outside of that building looks fantastic. I love old buildings, old churches, old schools. Anything like that that's been around for 100 years or so, I love it. I'm not sure what that is. Office building, probably. I'm in no hurry. I let them get out. I'm in no hurry. All right, we'll continue on down the hill. I've never walked this street before. Honest, this is the first time I've ever walked K Street all the way down to the bottom. This is my first time. So if you're viewing this for the first time, we're on even footing because I've never seen it before either. However, I kind of like it as a, as a different route to take sometimes. And it's exciting to do something different, not the same old stuff all the time. You do something different once in a while, shake it up. And again, I'm hoping this phone is recording because I had a few issues here. I can't see to get them solved. So anyway, we're still making a video. I'm hoping it's going to be all right. And I hope I got enough space on here to do this video because the other one is still on here. So I have to... Uh, it hasn't been and taken off yet and put on the computer. I take it off of here, put it on my hard drive. Then my, my son takes it off of the hard drive, puts it in the computer, does his magic to it, then ships it off to YouTube. So right now it's still on the phone. When I get home, I got two videos have to go on the hard drive. And then my son will help me out with the rest of it. So, anyway, let's see where we're going to be when we get down here. We got two more. We got well, this street here. I think is Brunswick. Then we got one more down there we could take. So maybe we'll split them up. We'll take one part way, take the other one part way. That sounds like a good idea. I like that idea. Okay, so this one I'm presuming is Brunswick. I don't see a sign yet, but I think it would be. I think it would be, but maybe not. Maybe the next one is Brunswick. I think the one down there with that white car, that's Brunswick. This is just a little street to take you down there. Okay, we'll continue on down, see where it takes us. Maybe Brunswick, uh, hmm, maybe don't come up this far. I think Brunswick starts at the bridge. So, yeah, I think that's what it is. You don't have Brunswick up here. Comes up past the bridge. I know, I'm making videos of Halifax. I don't know everything myself. No, I don't. 
I've been here three years, but it's a good sized city and it takes a while to learn everything. I didn't grow up here like some people. Some people that make videos, they lived here their whole life and they know everything. But I've only been here three years. I was in Ontario 15 years and I didn't even make videos up there. I, I wasn't into that then. I had to sit, I was a late bloomer. It just came to me after I came down here. I fell in love with Halifax when I got down here. That's what happened. And I had to make videos because it was such a beautiful spot. I wanted to tell everybody. There's the uh, power plant over there where the red and white towers are. And this right here is the Irving shipyard where they build the ships. This is where they built those frigates for the, to go up north. Right in here. They're still building them, still working on them. By the time, they're, they're icebreakers. By the time the last one gets built, maybe there won't be any ice in the Arctic. At the rate it's breaking off and floating and melting, I would say by the time the last frigate's built, you might not need an icebreaker up there. Climate change is really taking its toll this year. Really this year, a lot more than other, than other years. This year has been like the breaking, the, the start of the breaking point. So if you want to just have a look at that sign there, Irving Shipbuilding, Halifax Shipyard, 3309 Barrington Street. So we're on Barrington Street, there you go. That clears that up. So we'll continue right on down then. And we'll go all the way down Barrington Street. Look, that guy must be sleepy. He left his backup lights on. Believe me, I know. I used to do that when I was really tired. I put them on to back out of a driveway somewhere. So just to catch people's attention, they see you backing up. Then I take off down the road. And if I was tired, never notice they were on. Maybe an hour or two later I might notice it, maybe not. Well, that's what happens when you're driving. Truck drivers have to drive when they're tired because that's, that's the nature of the game. It's like this. You start off for the week. You get home for the weekend on Saturday because you drove all night Friday night. Try to get home for Saturday so you'd have some weekend. You get up Saturday morning after sleeping three or four hours and you think, oh, good, the weekend's here. You go around, do a little bit of shopping. You come home. Saturday night, the phone rings. You gotta be in Toronto for Monday morning. You gotta go pick up your load Sunday morning. So your weekend shot now, all you had was Saturday. And that was sleepy because you, you drove all night to get home. So you were tired all day Saturday. Then you get up Sunday morning, a little bit more sleep. Still not completely rested. Then you got to drive 50 or 100 kilometers to go pick up your load. And then you sit there half a day, maybe all day, trying to get loaded. You leave there about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. You're supposed to be to Toronto for 7 o'clock the next morning to deliver, which is just impossible because you're tired before you ever get going. You're played right out. So that, that's what it's like driving a truck. So anybody wants to uh, become a truck driver, go to it. You'll have an unhappy life. It sounds like fun. There's the McDonald Bridge from this angle. 
You've never seen me shoot it from this angle. What? That's it from this angle. If I was across the road, I could show you the frigates they're building. There's one right over there, but I'm too, I'm too, I'm on this side of the road and there's no crosswalk. And I'm not going to run across that road because I doubt if it would pay off. So anyway, that's my little rant about what it's like being a truck driver. You're tired all the time and you haven't got any home life. You got no family life. Unless you can find a day job somewhere. Well, you go to work at seven or eight in the morning, you're done at five in the afternoon. There's a few of those jobs. A few of them, they're hard to get, but there are a few of them. Like if you want to drive a, a five ton truck and deliver for uh, a company like Sleep Country or Leon's or any of those kind of places where they deliver furniture and mattresses and stuff, you can go out to work every morning and come home every night. Jordan's Furniture, all those places. You can drive a truck and that's probably your best job. That's probably the best best trucking you can do. But if you're a highwayman, like I was, and you like the highway and you like to get out and drive a thousand miles, which I did enjoy the getting out on the highway and going, was all the other stuff I didn't enjoy. But anyway, that's, that's the trucking industry which I'm retired from now, and I don't regret it. I don't miss it. Not one little bit. I don't miss it. Now I got time to walk around and keep myself in shape. And I got time to practice my guitar. Haven't been able to play with anybody lately because there's the COVID and things. That, that's kind of fell by the wayside, but Maybe I'll get it going again when things get a little bit better. Kind of looking forward to playing with somebody if I can get some, some people together. But anyway, yeah, when you're retired, you got time for all these things. All this stuff that you like to do and haven't got time to do when you're working. You got time then. One year I bought a motorcycle. I was working for Day and Ross, a division of Day and Ross, Fast Tracks, I was on there. Bought a motorcycle and the whole summer went by. I put 100 kilometers on it. That's all I put on it in the whole summer. Get sat there in the driveway. I was never home. And when I did get home, I was too tired to bother with it. Look at the bridge. I love these angles of the bridge. This is the Angus McDonald Bridge, in case anybody doesn't know. And I just love taking different angles of because they look different. They look different. Every angle you get, they look a little different. I walked right under it on the other side and did a video there once over in Dartmouth. Walked right under the bridge. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to walk right under it. Try to get some good angle shots across there while we're walking through there. Yeah, and that's enough of my ranting about things that are out of my control. And But sometimes it's nice to have a little rant and tell people about things. You know, so they'll know, know what they're getting into maybe a little bit before they do it. All right, I'm going to turn right around here. I see a shady spot up here. It might help me get a better picture if I'm 
get some shade where my where my lens is. And we'll try to get a nice picture of the bridge from here. There we go, right in here, it's nice and shady. Look at that. Whoops, I got a pole in the way. Hang on, I'm gonna get right over here. There we go. How you like this? A perfect shot of the Angus McDonald Bridge. Perfect, right there. Love it. Very good, okay. And maybe we'll get one more yet down in here. I'm just about to where I'm going to take the glass picture. Right here. There. How do you like that? The Angus McDonald Bridge. Pointing over to Dartmouth. If I lower it down a little bit, you'll be able to see the shoreline. Dartmouth. Okay. These people driving by looking at me probably think I'm a scientist doing something here. Oh, we got to get one more shot under the bridge. I'm going to be the troll under the bridge. Remember that story in your reader in elementary school about the troll under the bridge? Well, that's me today. I'm the, I'm the troll under the bridge. Look at this, isn't that nice? Great view right there. Perfect. I was like, can't snap it because I'm doing a video, but perfect shot anyways. All right, we're heading downtown. No more foolishness, we're heading downtown. Just like that, downtown. Right straight across, I got a walk sign. Perfect. Here's where North Street starts right here. So if you come all the way down North Street, don't go across the bridge, but come down, you'll go right into the Halifax shipyard. There's a certain way to cross here. You're not supposed to go straight across here because there we go. You're supposed to go across here because people will stop for you because you have a crosswalk. Yeah, and then you cross here and then you go back down. This is a narrow little little roadway down off of, down over here. Oh, we're going to keep right on down the sidewalk now. And we'll make our way all the way downtown. If I don't run out of storage. Hopefully that's not the case. If we don't run out of storage, I hope not. Because we're going to try to get this video in. So, I'm going to walk a little bit fast because there's not a whole lot right here to see. Apartments and townhouses right there. And, if anybody, and there's one right there for lease and there's some for rent. So I'm gonna make a habit now of telling people what street they're on because I had one, one guy asked me what street something was on and I wasn't sure. But we went back and found it and I gave him the correct information. This is on Barrington Street, just a little bit past the McDonald Bridge, towards the city. Okay, McDonald Bridge is in the city, but it's, it's, uh, I guess it's west, west of the downtown. So you're heading east on Barrington when you pass that apartment building that for, had stuff for lease in there. So sometimes people want to know these things where they're at. And I'll try to remember when I see 
stuff like that to give them the, the address. This is the way you go up to get on the McDonald Bridge. You have to go up over the hill and make a big circle and then you get back on the bridge. Okay. We got a nice flat stretch here into the city. So far we're still recording. I gotta walk fairly fast so I can get it all in. Those are places are nice right here. Looks like uh, two two apartments in each building. They're all hooked together. So you go upstairs and downstairs. It's kind of like having your, your own house. A lot of nice places along here. And you look right out over the harbor. Isn't that beautiful? These apartments right here. The nice living room window looks right out over the harbor. Oh, I love it. See the McDonald Bridge there? You can see the city, line, the city skyline. I think it'd be wonderful. And they've even got underground parking in there. I guess they had a trouble with people doing U-turns in their parking lot. $150 fine for driving in there and making a U-turn if you get caught. So, better not to do that. Well, I'm starting to get a little noisier down here. So I would imagine at one time this road came right down and joined here. But because that became a main road and it got so busy, they couldn't any longer have it go out onto that road. So they closed it off and now you have to go out another way. Which I won't begin to tell you that because I'm not sure myself. You probably go up a street and down later on a real street that joins here. Okay, here, look at here. Somebody wanted to know if they're moving here, where they could live. Right here, these two big tall buildings. It's got apartments in here and townhomes. So, here you go. There's the phone number. We are at, it's called Harbor View Apartments. If you see this video, there you go. There's the phone number. It's on Barrington Street in Halifax, the upper end. The upper end of Barrington Street, kind of the residential area, not so much the business area. But it won't be any more than about a 10 minute walk downtown from here. Well, there you go, two tall buildings. There's bound to be some empty apartments in there. There's parking underneath there, and there's parking outdoors. So you probably pay a little more for your parking spot underneath, where it stays out of the weather, than you do parks outdoors. And another good thing about, we, I discovered this, we lived in Toronto. We had an outdoor parking spot. Me and my wife both had a car. 
Half of the time we come home, somebody's in our parking spot. Then you gotta call parking enforcement. And uh, so one guy came there once in our spot, one of our spots, with a taxi, and he went in the building and visited somebody. He left his car at our spot. When he got up in the morning, he had a surprise because parking enforcement called a tow truck, and they towed that taxi away. So uh, I would have liked to watch him when he came out there. Yeah, we had a few incidents. We come home late at night, and someone's in our spot. You can't just take someone else's because someone's in yours. So it's a big problem. But if you park underground, nobody's going to be in your spot because if they did manage to get in the building, they know they'd be in trouble if they parked in your spot. You'd call the building and they'd have that tow right out of there. So you're, you're, you're pretty much got your spot if you're inside the building. So we paid a little bit more and got inside the building. We got ourselves down to one car. We had two at that time. And that's a big expense, trying to keep two cars licensed and inspected. And up there you had to have e-test and the car repairs on two vehicles. It was a lot of money just to have a privilege of having two cars. So we got ourselves down to one car and we never did that again. I said, we, we get down to one car and we're never to have two cars again. We will manage with one. And we're doing okay. We don't need two cars. In fact, when I come over here to the city, I don't even want to bring a car. I want to be on foot because you come over here, you got your car, now what are you going to do with it? On, on a business day, Monday through Friday, parking is at a premium. You pay quite a bit to park somewhere and you're lucky to find a spot. So it's just a pain having a car for planning on coming over here, walking around. Better to leave it home. Take the bus, come over here. You jump off the bus, you're free. You don't have to think about it. Oops, I had to do something there, sorry. Now you can see the The, the high-rise building starting to appear. As we near the downtown, you get a different perspective today on the city, because I never took any shots coming this way before. So now you'll see the city coming from the west, going east. And we are now, I don't want to make a guess. We're on Upper Water, up, up that way is Upper Water Street. Upper Water, up that way. And when I get down here, this is going to split. Barrington's going to go to my right, and Lower Water is, well, it will be Upper Water, I think. To you you got to get to a certain spot and then it's lower water. It's all one street. We'll see what it says down here. So you got this little split right here. The, the trucks usually go down. One of the choices is Hollis Street. You got Hollis Street, Water Street. And Barrington Street. I'm going to take Barrington because it's going to go right by everything downtown. And we'll try to end this video up that way someplace. And hopefully we've made a, a good video that you're going to enjoy today. There's another tall apartment building. Or condo building, probably apartment building.
There's a lot of apartments in Halifax. It's a good thing there is, because there's a lot of people looking for them nowadays. This must be a good good guy to come and get your car fixed, because you always got a yard full of cars here. And it looks like you've been around here for about 75 years, probably. But look at that garage. 2196 Barrington. Check it out. Might be a good place. I can't vouch for them. I've never been there. Just say that it looks like one of those places where you, they, it's been probably a family business, and you get guys that take pride, pride, a lot of pride in their work. Probably try to do a good job. So, I'll try not to bump into this lady if I can help it, and I hope she don't mind being photographed, videoed. She's all part of the plan, the master plan. She's part of it. We're all part of it, all part of the plan. Civilization, people are born every day and people die every day and there's everything in between. So we're all part of the plan. That area right over there is the casino. And I can't say what it's like because I've never been there. I don't have money to spend on that. I, uh, no money for casinos. But that is the casino right there. Never been in it, probably never will be. But that's where it is, right there. Right there on the water. You can get off the, at the ferry terminal and just walk right up the boardwalk and come right up there to the casino. Or you can go in there, whatever you want to do. The choice is yours. All right, so, I guess that street down there might be Hollis, that's Hollis, yeah. Hollis is down there. Now the next split, you're gonna have water and Barrington. So you're gonna take the Barrington split, then if you wanna go down Water Street, you're gonna take a, a left, a split to the left. And the one to the right is gonna to go to Barrington. That's the one we're gonna take. Well, we almost walked the whole thing and my video's still going. Let's see how long it took so far. 38 minutes so far. Not bad. From way up at North End, Young and Roby. 38 minutes, I say. 45 minutes. I'll be at Scotia Square. And maybe that's where I'll end my little video. To get down to Scotia Square. You can't video inside there. The security will get after you. I tried it in there. I got away with a little bit of it until they caught me. They can't do anything to you. There's, there's no signs up saying you can't video. I don't even know if they're legal, legal right. They say it's a private property. Well, in one way it is, but it's not the same as your private house and your yard. No, I can't go in somebody's yard and make a video without their permission. But a mall, it's the public that goes there. It's not a private. It's private in, in the way that someone owns that mall, but it's public in the way that the general public can just walk in there. You don't need permission to go to the mall. Uh, a piece of paper from the Nova Scotia court saying you can go to a mall. You don't need that. So therefore, it's a thin line. 
It's a, it's a murky water about mauled. None of them like you doing videos in there. They all get mad if you if you get caught doing a video in there. They'll come up and tell you you can't do that. But you won't get in any trouble. You can go back next day and try it again. You won't get in any trouble. Because I don't think they got any legal grounds to fine you or with anything. Now, if he started writing me out a ticket, I'd just walk away. They'd have no way to give it to. I'd just walk right away from him. So I don't think they got a whole lot of legal ground other than they work for the mall and the mall says you can't do it. So I try to I try to be a good boy and uh, not do it since they don't want me to. Downtown Halifax officially starts right here. And here we go, downtown Barrington Street. You're getting a different take on it today because I'm coming from a different angle. Normally I'm down farther when I start. But today we did it a little different. We walked all the way from the north end, deep into the north end, to downtown Halifax. It took us about 45 minutes. Not bad at all. I'm getting my steps today. I'll be busy tomorrow. I'm working tomorrow. My part-time job, I'm working tomorrow. And I'll be out making a little bit of money so I can afford coffee and donuts. And I can afford to help the homeless people a little bit. I always do. When I'm making money, I can't give everybody $10 or anything, but I hand out a couple of loonies, a couple of toonies sometimes. Sometimes it's 50 cents, depending on how much I've already spent. But I try to be helpful. I got certain ones, I don't know their names, to call by name, but I know them, to stop and talk with them when I'm walking around. Down by the ferry, over by Spring Garden Road. I meet lots of people that are asking for money. And, and I try to help, help them out if I can. And look at this, right downtown here where the buses stop now. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day here today. Love it, love it, love it. Absolutely wonderful down here. And I'm not putting my mask on, I don't care. I got one shot so far, I haven't got even close to getting it over. So I'm not putting my mask on today. If I go in somewhere, I have to. We have to obey the law, but we don't have to wear it over here. Well, here we are, let's go to square. And this is where I'm going to end my video. Soon I get up here to a nice spot. Alright, so we're gonna get up here. We'll stand here in the shade. How will that be? Right here. This looks like a good spot to, to end the video. Don't it? So if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're not yet a subscriber, I love it if you push that subscribe button, put one more subscriber on my list. And if you want to be notified with a little ding every time I make a video, you can hit that notification bell and that will take care of that, all right? So anyway, I'm glad you we come to an end of this video because I'm getting hot. And I'll tell you how many minutes it was, 45 minutes is what it took to walk that walk down here. That was amazing. So, okay.
So I gotta turn around and say goodbye, pointing towards over there to this intersection, okay? Bye.